How was your weekend? Good? Great! Let's chat a little, shall we? Just a quick announcement. Next Monday is Staff Development Day, so there will be no school next week. So, no zombie students walking around the school. Okay? Okay! Friday was our sixth football game, and we won! But I gotta admit, the name Basic High is false advertisement. There's nothing basic about that school. It was definitely a close game. There was blood and sweat and fangs and blood and claws and injuries left and right and I said blood, right? And blood! And somehow we got that last touchdown in at the two minute mark of the game. So good luck. So good job you guys. Keep it up. Now, this Thursday is the chess tournament at the Emerald Casino. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, due to some problems going on, the chess tournament is being moved to our gym. Okay, that's odd. Wasn't expecting that. But hey, shit happens. And our gym is big enough to do it. Chess tournament will be here at our gym at 3.30. Make sure that if you have a friend on the chess team that isn't here, please let them know so they don't miss out. Okay? Okay. Tomorrow, though, is our debate competition against... Bleh! Terrial High! Over at... Okay, something is also going on with Balaza. Okay, so the debate competition will also be at our gym tomorrow and starts at 3.30. Again, make sure that if your friend is on the debate team, let them know. Okay? Okay. So now it's time for the debate question. Here, I'll give you a fun one. Is it appropriate for couples to live together before marriage? Honestly, nowadays, it's a good idea. You learn how the other lives and if you two can live together. I mean, wouldn't it suck to get married and then you find out that they're a werewolf? A vampire. Supernatural. There's so much that goes into a relationship as it is. Is it really a good way to find out that your husband is a werewolf during the first full moon together? I mean, what if your significant other doesn't have the strength to close the silver metal door to keep them in? Or is allergic to dogs? Or what if you find out that you're not religious, but your vampire wife is? I mean, that'd be cool. A Buddhist vampire? I've never heard one in fiction, but you never know. Or what if you're a businessman, and you find out that your wife is a witch that fights evil at night as a magical girl, huh? At least you know she's not sneaking around with someone else. But see, living together before marriage helps you both figure whether you two can stand living together or not. But that's just me. What do you guys think? Do you think it's alright? Are you very old school and think should wait till after marriage to live together? Discuss it amongst yourselves. Oh! And before I forget, our cafeteria is almost finished. We should be able to start using it in two weeks. By then, we'll have a fully restocked kitchen and be able to use it again. Woohoo! No more basic lunches! And with that out of the way, let's move on to the lost and found. 
Now, let's see. Nothing too bad. A red jacket, a blue notebook, purple glasses, another box for Principal McAdam. My gods, you're persistent. Six months. Who could be this persistent and not get figured out by my uncle? Unless it's him. But I don't think he would do all this. Especially not at her job. Anyway, let's see inside. Oh my. A very sexy pair of boots. <laughs> she ain't gonna wear them. The heels are way too high for her. Nice try. I'll once again hand them over to my uncle's men and let them handle it. And that's it for the Lost and Found. Today's lunch special is the same as last week and many weeks before. And you got your basics. So let's end today's announcements with a thoughtful quote. Never regret anything that made you smile. So me torturing the prisoners, I shouldn't regret because it makes me smile. Okay, I can do that. My name is Lexus Amelia Davalo, and have a great week. Hey you guys, Cat McAdam here. And yeah, no podcast next week. Although, things have gone a little rough for now with how things are going here in Vegas. So, you might see more of my stuff coming up in time. And if you enjoy listening to these weird high school announcements, then click that like button. Want to hear more? Want to see, hear, book reviews, as well as see new segments starting up? Then hit that subscribe button. I also have a new store out and a Patreon if you are interested in supporting this little channel. I also want to thank my Patreon for sticking by me since I had started Patreon. You need to go check her stuff out as well as her Twitch channel. And if interested in knowing more about Lexis, can go over to my DeviantArt page for now while I have my new webcomic website worked on. All links will be in the description below. And want to know when these come out? Then hit that bell and make it ring because school is in session. Catch you later, students.